one of the toughest technologies to develop in rocketry is the cryogenic engine. It uses liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, and India has mastered that technology. Behind me is the cryogenic engine, the biggest one which will fly on the launch vehicle Mark III and will also send India's astronauts into space on Gaganyaan. I have with me Dr. V. Narayanan. He's the director of the Liquid Propulsion System Center of the Indian Space Research Organization and somebody who helped master this complex technology. Why is it so difficult to master this technology? See, we use chemical propulsion systems in the launch vehicles. Among chemical propulsion system, the cryogenic propulsion system, wherein we use extreme low temperature liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as the propellant combination, gives the maximum performance. Performance of the propulsion system is defined by a parameter called specific impulse. That is nothing but thrust generated per unit weight flow rate of the propellant. This is the cryogenic propulsion system gives almost 70% performance more than the solid propulsion system, 50% more than the air storable propulsion system. When it gives high performance, we can inject higher payloads for the same injection velocity or for the same payload, it can give higher injection velocity. So among chemical propulsion, this gives the highest performance. Now, but why, why is there so many pipes? It is looking so complicated. Uh, do you know what, what is flowing? You have to put liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. It will burn. What is there? <laughs> it is not that easy. See, basically, when you take a liquid, uh, liquid cryogenic, I mean, when you take hydrogen, a, no, when you take a hydro, I mean, cryogenic rocket engine, it is so complex due to multiple reasons. Number one, the propellant is at extreme low temperature. Hydrogen is at minus 253 degree centigrade. You know, water will freeze at zero degree Celsius. And from that 253, we have to go down to liquefy liquid hydrogen. And oxygen is also at extremely low temperature. So producing such a low temperature propellant and maintaining at that temperature itself is a complex problem. Another one is hydrogen oxygen. If in a controlled way, if you burn, it will ignite and it will work as a propellant. If it is in an uncontrolled way, hydrogen can explode and lead to problem. And again, hydrogen, you know, by virtue of its explosive characteristics, one has to be extremely careful. Because of the low temperature, even preparation of the entire system is very, very difficult. And here, as you told, it is not that simple to put hydrogen and oxygen and burn. What is required is hydrogen and oxygen will be stored in the insulated tankages. <coughs> From there, we have to pump at a required flow rate and pressure inside the combustion chamber. So we need the pumping system. Basically, we, have, we call it as a turbo pump. There is a hydrogen pump which is driven by a turbine. So similarly, there is an oxygen pump, again driven by a turbine. And this engine has got at least some 30 control components <coughs> for allowing the propellant, or for controlling the propellant, and to carry out multiple operations. And it is a very, very complex chemical system what we have developed. You can understand, to develop this type of system, people take almost 15 years. That shows really what type of complexity it is. See, this technology was denied to us by Russia when America yeah. put pressure on us. It is scientists like you who work day and night to give us this technology, and we are now mastered it. Now, will this be used on Gaganyaan? Has it been human rated? <clears throat> this is the engine system what we have developed from the scratch. It's totally indigenously developed. And we have flown this engine in six <coughs> of the LVM-3 vehicles. But now, for the Gaganyan program, this engine has had to be human rated. Human rating means we have to bring adequate redundancies, adequate structural margin, adequate thermal margin, everything has to be built. Now, towards that, we mounted a program of human rating. <coughs> Four hardware, we have put through 39 number of hot tests. 
which includes nominal duration test, extended duration test, higher thrust test, and off-nominal ignition demonstration test. But I am happy to inform that all the 39 tests were successful in the first attempt. And today, as you know, our chairman has already declared we have completed the total human rating of this engine and this engine is ready for carrying the human being to the orbit. In launch vehicle Mark III, cryogenic is not, only, not the only liquid stage. There are other liquid stages also. Have you human rated all of them now? Actually, in the Mark III, if you take, it has got basically three propulsion systems. There are two S200 solid motors. That is already, we have completed the human rating, we have completed the test, and it is ready for flight. Then, we are having core L110 stage, which is uh, using the airstorable propellant system, and powered by two Vigas engines, each generate 80 ton thrust. That engine also, we have tested 20 hard firing hard tests in multiple hardware, and we have completed the human rating. And Creo also, we have completed the human rating. In summary, all the three propulsion systems, we have completed the human rating and we are ready for the flight. You also have the crew escape system where you have liquid propulsion there. The, and you, the, not just liquid but also solid propulsion there. Are they also human rated now? No, uh, actually that uh, orbital module system has got service module and crew module and both are having propulsion system. In fact, the service model propulsion system has to take the human being from 170 kilometer to 400 kilometer and keep them safe there to the required number of orbits. And that system is currently undergoing the necessary testing. And same way, crew model propulsion also is undergoing the testing. Then crew escape system, which has got fast burning solid propulsion system. It is the development of VSSC and the Sri Ricotta SAR team together. They have done all the necessary tests. So, are we in readiness of Gaganyaan? No, if you ask this one, say the, the Gaganyaan development has got multiple things. One is human rating of the vehicle. In my opinion, human rating of the vehicle is almost completed. Then we are having orbital module system development. That development, that's a new development that is going on. Then we are having crew escape system development. That development you all aware. Just last year we had a successful demonstration yes. and multiple demonstrations we have to do. That one of the tests we have done and multiple demonstrations we have to carry on. Then the, to keep the crew safe, we are having a system called environmental control and safety system. Basically, we have to maintain the oxygen content and remove the CO2 the carbon remove the carbon dioxide. We have to maintain the required temperature, relative humidity and all the things we have to do. Those development, that is also a new development. All the developments are going on. As on date, as ISRO chairman, Mr. Somanath ji, he has declared we are ready for the first G1 mission, wherein we are going to fly the rocket without the actual crew. For that, we are ready. Remaining, all the developments are going on. We have to do multiple tests. In fact, we have declared this year is the Gaganyan testing year, and we are going to do the test, and we are, going, we are getting ready for the actual mission. So, from the cryogenic engine which we mastered with great difficulty thanks to you to now ready to fly Gaganyaan with Indian astronauts. India is thankful to you. Thanks a lot Dr. Narayanan for Thank speaking you, sir. to us. Thank you. Always it's a, great a pleasure Thank speaking you. Thank to you. you. Thank you. So that was Dr. V. Narayanan, Director of the Liquid Propulsion System Center of the Indian Space Research Organization and behind me is the big cryogenic engine which India has mastered after great difficulty and is performing well for us. The launch vehicle Mark III, which has been human rated, has a 100% success record. And now, in the year of Gaganyaan readiness, other things are also being prepared so that India's astronauts can be sent from Indian soil on an Indian rocket. And like Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, this time the countdown will also be Indian. With the beautiful cryogenic engine behind me at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, with camera person S.P. Babu in Thiruvananthapuram, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.